So looking at fractional distillation, as I touched on, it's based on different boiling points of the fractions, where shorter chains will have a lower boiling point, such as this chain here. This is propane, so it has three carbons, so the prefix is prop, and it's now cane, which means it only has single bonds. So this is propane, and it has a lower boiling point. Longer chains, such as this one, which is octane, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight carbons, therefore the prefix is oct, it's an alkane, so it's octane. Longer chains have a higher boiling point, and you'll need to remember this for this section of the topic. So looking at a fractional distillation column, this is a quite a crude diagram, but if you imagine a fractional distillation com column, excuse me, in industry, these things are absolutely massive. You could imagine maybe the size of a silo. They're very, very large. What happens is crude oil is brought into the fractional distillation column and it's then heated up. Shorter chain fractions, because we just touched on, they have a lower boiling point, the shorter chain fractions will then rise. So fractions up here like refinery gas and petrol with lower boiling points will rise and therefore, on the flip side, the longer chains will condense lower down on the column with a higher boiling point. So if you can keep in mind that the shorter the chain, the higher up the column and the lower the boiling point and the opposite for longer chains. So what happens is we then collect these fractions. As you can see, these are a few examples. Now there's more than just in this diagram, there are many things that come off from petroleum. These are just a few examples, petrol, naphtha which is used for making chemicals, diesel oil. The separate fractions will come off and we collect them at different boiling points so they'll be pure, not just one big heap of everything together. Now around the world the composition of the fractions will vary depending on where the crude oil is mined. So for example, if the crude oil was mined in North Queensland, in Australia, it would have a very different composition to crude oil mined overseas, for example in the Gulf of Mexico, in the United States. So that now sums up our theory part of this section. So just to remind you of what we've spoken about, today's lesson was mostly about refining petroleum and the use of fractional distillation to separate different products from one crude oil product. And the way we do this is by using the physical property of boiling point. So try to remember that the smaller, the higher up the column, and the lower the boiling point, the longer the hydrocarbon, the lower down, and the higher the boiling point.